Suppose you were asked to find the area of a circle whose radius is 1. How could you go about finding that proposed area? Well, one way you could do it is consider a square and its area, which is easy. It's just length times width. And inside it, inscribe the circle. Then consider the portion of the circle's area to the square's area. That's going to give you some ratio of the actual area that you're looking for. All right. So now let's back up again and think about this from a math perspective. Inside that circle we have the relationship actually of the Pythagorean theorem. So in this triangle we have the x squared plus y squared equals 1. So if we think about things less than 1 or equal to, that's points inside the circle. And if their x squared plus y squared is greater than 1, that's outside of the circle. And we're going to use two different colors to indicate them. So let's run a simulation where we put a whole bunch of dots inside of these two figures. And what we're going to do is we're going to consider the ratio of the dots inside the circle divided by the, all of the dots that we created. That's going to give us an approximate um, estimation of that ratio from earlier. And if I multiplied by the area of the square, I get an approximate area of the circle. So let's do this first with 200 dots. We take 200 dots, we count them, we divide by the total number of dots, multiply by 4, and we get about 3.04. Let's do this with 500 dots. Count them all, divide, multiply by 4, and you get about 3.112. Now let's up it to 2,000 dots, just to see how close we can get. So we've got the circle divided by the square, multiplied by 4 is about 3.13. So it looks like we're approaching pi. And yes, I know, we already know the value of pi, but this can be applied to calculus. So let's consider we have this function, and we wanted to find the area underneath its curve from negative 2 to 2. So I can take the rectangle now, instead of a square, fill it with a bunch of dots, and consider the ratio with the dots inside divided the total number of dots. Multiply by the area and get this approximate estimate. So let's do it with 2,000 dots, just to see how this would look. Fill it up, divide by the dots in, under the curve, divide it by the total number of dots, and we get about 2.362. So what we're finding here is the integral from negative 2 to 2 of our function. And it makes problems that look like this a lot easier to compute. And I know this doesn't look simple, but in fact, this is just our circle problem re-expressed in terms of calculus.